Hello everybody, welcome to another uh, episode of uh, Market Talk. Today, we are actually going to look at the bottom five stocks of 2022. Why are we looking at the bottom five stocks instead of uh, looking at the top five stocks or the, the best performing stocks? Uh, so we are trying to find whether there are any stocks which are cheap and worth our time to actually uh, look, do a deeper dive into as well as you know, try to find if there are any uh, bad news in any companies to see that whether we can take advantage of or find an opportunity there. Alright, so the bottom five stock that we will be talking about today is Affirm Holdings, App Loving Corporation, Wayfair Incorporated, Coinbase Global Incorporated, and Willio Incorporated. So moving on to our very first one, which is Affirm Holdings Incorporated. The earnings per share has actually been negative over the past five years, since 2018. Their debt to equity ratio is actually pretty high, above 1.5. And their free cash flow has been negative since 2018 as well. So this company was founded in 2012 and they operate as financial lender of installment loans at a point of sales. So how do they actually generate revenue? They generate revenue by having simple interest-bearing transactions that they facilitate on the platform. So imagine a firm holdings to be similar to what we have in Singapore, like your Otome, where you want to buy something, then you pay a certain amount first, then you split up your remaining purchases over a remaining three or four payments. And then that's where a firm holdings makes money by charging you a little bit of interest on that amount that you split up. Right. However, uh, based on what we have seen so far, in terms of the metrics, it does not seem like Affirm Holdings is doing too well. Okay, so moving on to the second one, it's App Loving Corporation. In terms of their earnings per share, it's been up and down for the past three years. Free cash flow has been upwards and positive, but their debt equity ratio is pretty high. So who are they or what do they do? They are a mobile advertising uh, company that delivers an advertisement platform for application developers. However, the market outlook towards mobile apps does not seem to be looking too bright. In fact, App Loving received some downgrades to their stocks after analysts have all said that they expect a squeeze in the mobile gaming revenue that could last pretty much into 2024. Since it's relatively new, it might be a little bit hard to judge. But yet at the same time, if you are interested at looking into this company, then I think you need to look into other factors beyond its uh, financial statements. I think you need to look more into like the demand for mobile applications, uh, like what they said about the mobile gaming revenue. So that I think that you that is something that you would have to look way more into. Uh, the third one that we'll be looking at today is called Wayfair Incorporated. Wayfair Incorporated earnings per share has been negative for the past 10 years actually. In terms of debt to equity ratio, it is zero. However, it's free cash flow on a downward trend and it's now negative. So who is Wayfair Incorporated and what do they do? They are an e-commerce company that is based in Boston that sells furniture and other home goods. But the difference with Wayfair is that they do not have any warehouses and they do not store products with them at all. So what they do is that they ship these products directly from supplier to the consumer. However, their management has actually been blaming lower consumer spending as a result of inflation for the company's weak performance. However, when you look at the earnings per share for Wayfair Incorporated, it has actually been pretty bad since uh, 2012. Uh. So I do not think that the lower consumer spending as a result of inflation is the only reason for that. So I think if you are interested to look at Wayfair Incorporated, then probably wouldn't do a much uh, deeper dive into it and find out how come their earnings per share has been negative for the past 10 years. Alright, the fourth one that we're going to look at is Coinbase Global. Cryptocurrency related, where they provide financial solutions, they give you the platform to buy and sell your cryptocurrencies. In terms of earnings per share since 2019, it's now negative. Free cash flow on a downward trend and their debt to equity ratio is at 0.5. However, cryptocurrency is something that I personally am not uh, comfortable with and it's not within my circle of competence. And, and with all the negative uh, news that has been going around with cryptocurrency nowadays, I think it really backs a much closer look into this company if you are really interested in cryptocurrency. 
The last one that we'll be looking at is actually Twilio Incorporated. So who is Twilio and what have they been doing? So they're actually an American company uh, which provides communication tools for making and receiving phone calls, sending and receiving text messages and other communication functions but using its web service uh, API. So you're not using a phone, like everything's done on your it is done on your computer through the web. So as of uh, 2023, they have had up to 2 million active uh, user accounts. Uh, however, in, in terms of their yeah, metrics, right, so Twilio has been making negative uh, earnings per share for the past 10 years. Their free cash flow has also been negative for the past 10 years. However, they have a very low uh, debt to equity ratio. In the news, it stated that Twilio is starting to lay off their workforce and they are actually serious about trying to turn this company profitable. So this actually might be worth taking a look, maybe not immediately, but giving it some time, maybe in a few years' time to see where Twilio goes. Uh, yeah, so these are the bottom five stocks for 2022. As you can see, the, most of the things that we have seen from them so far at the very surface level seems quite negative. But then again, as always, if you are, for whatever reason, interested in them because they are in your circle of competence, do make sure that you go into a deep dive and actually look at their annual reports properly so that you are able to make the best possible decision. So if you want to know how to make the best decision, look out for the next available masterclass that will be coming up so that you will learn the correct metrics to look out for and the correct companies that you should be looking to invest. If not, that's it for the bottom five stocks of 2022. And I hope you won't make uh, a wrong mistake. I, I hope you won't make a mistake, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you. Bye.